morning, almost five o'clock. Headed for a push session at the gym. Um, me and the wife woke up to kind of a surprise. Uh, the local utility company cut the water off from three to nine and we totally forgot about it. So luckily we had a, we had a big jug of water that we got from natural grocers um, when this whole coronavirus thing happened. So we, luckily we still had some of that. Um, that water's good. We may get a refill on that. Um, but today's push is probably my longest day of the week as far as uh, training goes. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's a long workout. Um, I try to fit everything in in a relatively decent amount of time. Uh, but sometimes it runs a little long, but today, hopefully, uh, we can get everything in. So what's on the menu? Well, I did a YouTube video last time about how you do chest first and then you flip it that next week. So I flipped it last week, did shoulders first, great workout. Um, was really happy with uh, how it went, but now we're back to chest. Um, so we're gonna do some incline press, uh, free bar, then we're going to go to the hammer iso wide, uh, some type of decline press or dip, and then um, move along with some shoulders and triceps. So um, I already had my pre-workout, so I'm letting that course through me a little bit. Um, what do you look for in a pre-workout? Um, a little bit of citrulline, a lot of caffeine because I'm training fasted. Um, but citrulline definitely to help facilitate that pump, a little bit of creatine. Um, and if you got any extras in there, then you know that's great, but mainly um, some creatine, some caffeine, some citrulline, and you're good to go as far as a pre-workout. Uh, goals for the session. Um, right now, I'm not sure what my incline press poundage was last time. I think it was around 275, uh, 285, something like that. So definitely trying to beat reps done with that weight and not necessarily go up and wait again i am a weak presser so we're just going to work within the parameters that i have right now as i'm still building back strength uh in my pressing movements so uh let's get moving we only got one push day so the volume has to be up there so like i said this is going to be a marathon session uh intra workout is going to be a little bit higher than what we usually have it um at 75 grams versus 50 but we're just going to really knock it out. So let's get going. All right. Generally, I like to have a lot to eat the night before I train, but I didn't have a lot. So I kind of front loaded uh, the nutrition for today in the form of an intra workout shake. Uh, so what you have here is 75 grams of carbs, along with about 13 grams of EAAs and some about 10 grams of creatine in here. So. This will get me through the session, get me to my first meal, which is a protein shake and uh, some oatmeal because I got I drink it on the way to taking my son to daycare. And then I follow that up about an hour and a half later with an actual meal, which will be chicken and rice this morning. So nothing fancy, nothing crazy. Uh, just a lot of basic shit, man. Okay, starting off with a little bit of incline press. Um, and I want to use this particular moment to talk about warm ups. So for us older individuals or <clears throat> more seasoned, uh, as many would like to call it, you got to definitely get your warm ups in. Um, they get you neurologically ready for your stuff. So I probably should have taken a little bit more time and did more warm up reps. Um, did 20 here with the bar and then instead of slapping on 135, probably should have went to um, 95 and pressed there. But did a couple of extra sets. I did a 135 set before I hit this set. This is a warm up right here too. Um, so, but in any event, definitely want to get your warm up sets in. Now, the key to warming up um, before you reach a your heavy work set, which I thought this was going to be, but I just counted this as an over warm up. Don't ask me why. Um, you want to make you want to make sure that when you're doing your warm-up sets that the reps don't have to stay at 10 or 15 or whatever. So for instance, um, the heavier the weight gets, the lower the reps come down and the better the execution comes, becomes rather. 
So don't feel like you have to do 10 reps for all of your warm-up sets. Um, to be honest with you, you can do one. Um, so just you want to make sure that you're using effective reps for your warm-ups and not just bullshit repetitions, right? So to make sure that that muscle gets uh, to firing properly, you put all that pressure where it needs to go, and that, that warm-up is an effective way of channeling into your muscle before you start your work sets. Moving on, another exercise that uh, I've recently added to my repertoire, the hammer uh, iso wide grip press. Um, pretty good for lower pecs. Doesn't uh, have that straight bar or that straight handle like the hammer decline press does. Uh, I like it. It's kind of the perfect combination between a flat press and a decline press for the hammer. So just a field set, two plates, go up real fast, three plates, which was a work set. Uh, I think I hit around about 10 reps here. Um, really emphasizing that stretch and squeeze on there. Um, one thing I like is that I really don't feel a whole lot of shoulder involvement when it comes to this exercise. Uh, I feel it definitely all in my chest. So if you have this exercise, if you have this machine, please go ahead and use it. Uh, this bad boy right here uh, was my top set before I think I did another back off set with around about three plates, two plates, something like that. Um, the next go round that we're going to have on the hammer incline, which is my next exercise that you'll see here shortly, um, it was very interesting. So I did what I like to do, I did what I like to call a rest pause drop set. So here is three plates, right? So I bang out the reps until I hit my first failure point. Once I hit my first failure point, what I do is then I go into rest pause mode. Uh, 15, 20 seconds rest, some deep breaths, aka uh, a la dog crap, really trying to get some oxygen into the muscle, and then what I do is that I sit back down, strap in, and get ready for another rest pause, and get ready for another set, another rest pause set, and then I go to failure again for my second failure point. Go to failure there, and then I do the same thing. Make sure I get some deep breaths, 15, 20 seconds rest, and then I go down for my third uh, rest pause set, hit another failure point, and then I drop the weight, and I do the same thing with the weight drop, uh, but I only do two instead of one when I do that, uh, that uh, drop. So I like this technique for a couple of different reasons, and I went into it on Instagram, but I'll go through it here. One, I like it because it doesn't increase overall set volume, right? You're doing all that work in one set. And then number two, I like it because it really just blows the muscle group that you're training up. And then number three, it's a versatile piece of, uh, it's a versatile intensity technique to you. So this, if I had to did this at the beginning of my workout with this particular piece of equipment, I probably could have done more weight. And if you start off at a heavy weight, you don't have to um, you don't have to do as many drops you know what I mean so one drop is good enough if you started off at uh, you know what I mean something lighter then you know you gotta kind of gauge it but like three four plates just do one drop because you really don't want to go all the way down to one plate when you're trying to just keep the weight at decently heavy range so I want you to try this again I want you to try this out and uh, get back with me and let me know how you like it in the comments. Moving on to flies. Um, pretty straightforward with the first set here. Um, nothing too crazy, just a standard 12 reps. Stretch and squeeze, pump the muscle up with some blood. Uh, I would have done these first, but I just decided to go ahead with the incline press first. Um, didn't yield too much more fruit, so I'll probably just stick with the machine flies at the beginning of the workout to really stretch and warm my chest up and get a lot of blood in there for the pounding that's eventually going to come. So here, uh, did a drop set with, uh, I don't know, it was a decent amount of weight. Um, ended up, total reps being, ended up being around about 18, 19 reps. So really good chest session here. Um, and I think the main thing that people need to think about when they do flies is to keep their elbows up especially with machine flies so any type of machine fly 
you want to keep your elbow up and have your chest do all of that work. You don't want your elbows to be down and really engage in the bicep and really engage in, um, really engage in the shoulder to do the movement. Uh, keep your chest, keep your elbows up, keep your back arch, keep your chest up, and make sure you're hitting that good contraction. Cutting it short today. Time is never really my friend when it comes to training in the morning. So chest and triceps, no shoulders. Um, so we'll hit back biceps, shoulders, or back shoulders, biceps on Friday night. Um, and we'll just keep it chest and shoulders here. So we're gonna keep rocking and rolling, keeping it off with some press downs. And then uh, we'll go on to our next exercise. Moving on to triceps, just hitting up some tricep press downs uh, with a broken bar, making sure I get a really good amount of volume in. Uh, via drop sets, no rest pause drop sets here, just regular drop sets. Really trying to just blow the tricep up since I went through a shit ton of pressing. Uh, next exercise that we have after that is kind of a similar exercise on an old school flex uh, machine. It is dips. So the one thing that I try to do when I do dips is I try to keep my shoulders out of it and I try to keep my chest out of it. Um, this machine is a little awkward but I, I like using it because it does hit the tricep the way that I want it to but it's just awkward to use so um, it just on the second set it really felt like I was using a lot of my chest when I didn't want that so I just cut the set short and ended up just going on to my next exercise but if you get a chance to see this machine um, use it try it out I think for the majority of you guys I think it'll just be good for a regular ass photo shoot um, went ahead and did a drop set here um, but like I said don't don't get too crazy with this exercise um, at least on this machine because I think for a lot of you it's just, it's just good for a photo shoot finished out with some seated uh, tricep extensions on the Cybex machine this is probably one of my favorite uh, tricep machines of all time uh, I really like it doesn't really hurt my elbows or anything like that so Overall, solid session. Uh, really enjoyed it today and really enjoyed hitting it early in the morning. So, um, fasted training is not for everybody, but if you try it, you know, give it a chance. Um, maybe you'll like what you, you may, maybe you'll like the results that are yielded. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, again, my content don't make no money or anything like that. Ain't got no cameraman, but just little tips and tools of the trade and kind of a accountability factor for me so i thank you for watching if you got any questions please hit the comments below or contact me on my social media platforms all that and my website too all right thanks guys